everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you another Franklin haul. So I know I just had a Franklin haul. I think it was the end of October or the beginning of this month and yet here I am with another one. So um, I guess I'll explain my reasoning. I had a few things in my cart that I have been eyeing up for quite some time ever since they were released. And there are also some things like this binder, for instance, that I've had my eye on for a very long time, but it um, kind of put a panic in me because there were three colors. This is the Teresa Collins Beautiful Life Binder in black. It's ebony, actually. So um, it put a scare into me because I saw originally they had the, the blush, the gold, and the black. And I knew I wanted the black one eventually. I just wanted to save up some money for it. And then um, at one point I saw that the pink one had finally sold out. And I have the pink one. So that was the very first binder I bought back in, do I want to say 2021, was it? Was it just last year? Or was it the end of 2020? I don't remember. But anyway, um, that was the very first binder that I purchased. And I loved it. The thing that I realized quite quickly is that I do like leather binders. However, the the way that this binder is, um, I guess, outfitted, like the details in it, they're so exquisite compared to regular Franklin binders. I like, I'll, I'll kind of explain what I like about them because I'm not really sure if I did that with my pink one, but uh, I'll explain my reasoning. Because, of course, I, I now have three black binders. I've got the Teresa Collins Beautiful Life. I've got my Tyler Zippered binder, which is one of the recent last ones I, I had. And then also my Anna binder. And I really like the Anna binder. That one's leather, and so is the Tyler. But they're all different in some way or shape or form, right? So now this one is a 1.25 inch. Uh, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know that I cannot survive in a 1.25 inch. I have to do a 1.5. So what I do is I switch out the rings. I use gold rings in it still, but I just switched out for bigger rings. So I'm gonna open this quick. Okay, so now um, it looks like it was bent. I'm not really sure what went on there, but so one of the first features that people started talking about these binders in particular is they had clear page lifters, okay? So most of the Franklin binders, um, either they don't come with page lifters at all or they come with black page lifters. I wanna kind of point out the features that I love about it. And yeah, for some reason, this cardboard piece is bent. So I'm just gonna have to try to bend it back a little bit. The, the features I like the most about it is that in a lot of the Franklin binders that you'll find, the rounded corners, that is one thing that um, when they're pointed corners, if for some reason, even when I make a sticker sheet, like I'm, I make stickers um, in my Etsy shop and on my website, and even when you leave the corners square, for some reason to me, it doesn't seem as polished as if the corners were rounded. So the fact that these corners are rounded screams like more quality workmanship to me, more time spent on a product especially the product details. Product details are everything to me. And, and it's funny I say that because technically I prefer like a quality leather binder because I know they're going to last. They're going to go the mile. But yeah, I don't know. I love having this clear pocket here. That is number one. Also, I like how the pockets are kind of dipped down. That is also a feature that I, I love, like perfection. Like I love that in the pink one. The same with the back two pockets. There's two pockets instead of just one, which most Franklin Covey pockets are only just one in the back. And with the binder, like the Planner Love binders, the pockets are way up here, strictly to hold a notepad, whereas I prefer them down here. You can still use a notepad in these, but you can also use them for other things as well. Um, it's part of the reason why I love the vintage Auroras because they have a similar feature, but they've got card slots in the back as well. And I think... Was it the Anna? I like the Anna. I like the feature features of the Anna, the Aurora, and these beautiful life binders are probably like my favorite types of binders I could find. Another binder that there's a difference. I wanted to point this out. These pen loops actually have the elastic showing here. Okay. And then um, 
of course you have like these little slip pockets you've got a zipper pocket which i also really enjoy whoops i have hot tea and i almost spilled it all over myself i also really like the zipper pocket and then you also have a, a larger side pocket so i like all the storage capacity there's nothing on the back nothing on the front and it is a magnetic well actually it's not magnetic i think it just it's like a clasp but it has a star here which is kind of cute that one's a black star and um, i just like the features of it i love the fact that the rings are gold like i said if i decide to i don't think i'll be using this binder for a little bit yet it's going to take me a little bit um to get into this binder because i have a few binders that i will be planning on using over the next um course of the next few months the rings are very tight but yeah, i think i really do enjoy these clear page lifters i don't know why they're just a lot of people in the planning community enjoy that right so i wanted to share that with you and um now i'm going to show another binder with you that i did not get in this particular haul but that it is a new binder i got it by itself and it's going to be specifically for christmas so you guys will see me set it up for december which is going to be on the 26th or the 27th of this month uh, let me just go grab that all right you guys so i decided to pick up this ruby red reese binder so the reese binder came in two colors it came in that sandstone kind of beige color and this which is ruby and i love this binder so when i first saw it on the website i thought it was a bit more bright than it is it's not as bright as i expected it to be but as i've owned it i have not used it i do have my inserts in here for christmas for the month of december but i just wanted to go over some features so it is a 1.5 inch binder it has silver hardware it is a snap binder it is not leather it is simulated leather came with black page lifters I kept everything in here just so I could show you guys because I knew I would um, eventually be doing this video. So let's pull those out. Okay, this one also has the elasticized um, pen loops here. And now this is where the details kind of, uh, they change, right? You don't have a zippered pocket. There's not as many features. They still have the rounded corners. It still has card slots, but none that are like you know see through here and then you have the secretarial pockets okay so it is my size it's 1.5 inch i'm not going to show you my inserts quite yet i'll wait for my december setup and the back only has this one um pocket in the back okay but i really do like this i think the simple design for christmas i have a lot of um, inserts that are going to be really fancy more for christmas themed and um, I think that having a minimal binder is okay in this circumstance because um, it's Christmas and I just really appreciated the red color. So anyway, that is it for this binder. So I really, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I do like the look of the that sandstone color binder. I think that looks amazing with the sandstone inserts. I saw it on Franklin Covey's, uh, I think it was Instagram. Maybe it was on their website or in their their. Um, the book that comes out I'm not sure but I saw it somewhere and it just looks they look so good together but um, I'm excited to get into this for December so if you guys want to see that setup keep tuned click on the bell notification on my channel so you will get notified of when that posts so before we get into the bind I do have another binder I know you guys I'm crazy crazy so I want to talk about all of these inserts I purchased first before we do anything um i have a plan <laughs> you guys oh i'm gonna laugh at myself about this later but so um as you guys know for january i will be using the seven habits inserts okay now what i do um is when the inserts come you can get inserts in january to December you can get them from July to June and I think they even have an October release as well so if there is a certain thing in mind that I have for creativity purposes or for filming purposes um, a lot of what I do is not specifically to share the products with you guys although I do enjoy doing that because I am a Franklin affiliate I do want to share the products with you so you can see um, what there is available and you can see what it looks like because sometimes I find if you look on their website you don't have a true grasp of what things actually look like so you come to youtube expecting to see 
the products, which is what we're here for. I had purchased, when was it? Was it July of this year? The Seasons inserts. So I wanted to start with those beautiful, um, like the beautiful blue and green colors to go with my Olivia binders, which are blue and green. They look fabulous for summer. And then I was using the October inserts, I think, for fall colors to go with my um, my golden aspen binder, which I loved. And now for December, I think I'll be using the seasons as well. But then my my seven habits inserts start January 2023 to December 2023. So here we are with the blooms inserts also January 2023 to December 2023. So I had it in my head that really the seven habits inserts are very, very neutral. I mean, you can pretty much use them in any binder, but I have this thing where I like to match my binder with certain inserts. And ever since I started my channel, or not my channel, but um, with Franklin, I remember my very first binder was my Teresa Collins Beautiful Life binder. And I had the Blooms inserts because I thought they were beautiful. I didn't really know where to start with which inserts or if I should make my own or if I should get them from Etsy or if I should get them from Agendio. But I wanted to use Franklin because I really enjoyed their system. I wanted to see what it was all about and use it for myself. And so without spending tons and tons of money, even though yes, Franklin products can be expensive, especially the binders, I just wanted to be able to have the ability to switch them in and out. I do know a lot of people don't do that. They'll switch their binders in and out, but they'll keep their planner inserts the same, which is absolutely fine. I don't agree with going out and just spending money, even though I am. Um, but please don't let me persuade you in buying multiple inserts because that's not what it's about. Use what you have. Use it up. Don't waste money, you know, like I'm trying to be just trying to promote non-consumerism, I guess, like try, try not to like splurge on stuff that you don't need. But um, because I'm a little extra, and I like to match match with my stuff. Um, I wanted to get these as well. So I do have the day on two page. That's why it is so big. And I'm really excited to do like maybe a February Valentine's Day theme month for February. So I would probably use this in February. And then I got a few things to go along with it. So I track, like it does come with monthlies and um, it also comes with um, like each, like a, a section of dailies, which are all kind of themed to that same month. I might crack this open just to share it with you guys to show you what it looks like. I track, so like when it comes to my monthlies, I put my daily things on there, for instance, like early dismissal or appointments, things like that. And there's going to be quite a few of them in January because I'm going to have delivered my baby by then. And then we'll be going to the doctors probably a lot and probably even February, to be honest. But then I also got the <laughs> the month on two pages. So this one would be to use along with this um, to track my all of my YouTube and my analytics for Instagram and my blog and all that. So basically I take up an entire block of space doing all of that stuff. I track how much money I make. I track um, all of my my numbers and stuff. So I needed to have a two separate months and I wanted something that went together. So I didn't want to put my seasons with my blooms because uh, for winter and then flowers, it just didn't look right. So I got those and these are cheap enough. It's only like $10, I think. But anyway, so that's that's that, okay? And then um, I also got some expense envelopes. So what I noticed is that, yes, I can stuff my envelopes in my pockets of my binder if I have, but if I go traveling, if I go to Red Deer, if I go camping or if I go anywhere, I do plan on trying to actually book a trip this year for 2023. I want to be able to have a place where I can write things down as I go and then put my receipts in one of these envelopes and I know it's safe. Um, I might have one for business and I might also have one for personal. I want to see what those look like. And we probably, I don't know, should we open all of this stuff? I don't know if we should. Um, I think what I would do is I would probably show you guys this stuff in my January setup to make it a bit more interesting because... Um, that video is going to talk about my goals. We're going to write out my goals, my cloth and paper inserts that I that I ordered and I ordered it in half letter, but they're punched for like disc punch for like happy planner punch. And I'm going to show you guys how I accommodate that to fit into my Franklin seven ring binder. So I'm going to actually show you how I do it. 
show you how I do that. Set up my my binder um, for all the beginning year of year stuff. It won't be like the January setup, but it'll be the goals for the first quarter type thing. And then also we'll kind of go through all of this stuff as well. Okay, so I also got the 2023 yearly fold-out calendar because I wanted something to track um, certain things. I haven't quite decided what I'll include on it, but there are some things I want to add on here. Kind of like a future log, I guess. Um, I also got the check register sheets. So I have been using my own. Um, I can't remember if mine are from um, this one website or if it's from the Organized Money but this works really well um, as well. So for number and date, I'm just going to use that whole section for the date. Description will be what it is. And I think what I'm going to use them for is my sinking funds. So I'm going to put at the top what the sinking fund is and then whether I have um, used money from it or whether I've deposited money and then what's remaining. So it's just it's going to be a nice um, addition to, to my sinking fund sheets. I also got the multiple schedule sheets. So there's six double-sided forms and I figured this would be good so I can kind of do like, um, maybe not necessarily a schedule, but more like a, a routine. So I'm going to have like skincare routines. I'm going to have routines for my kids. Each of my kids has a different routine and I'd rather have it all on one sheet where I can reference it and put it under my routine section. So I'll show you how I set that up as well because it'll be um, probably something I start in January. Okay. So then there was a few new products I wanted to pick up. So where did that thing go? Where did it go? Um, I got this page finder. So this is from the new Planner Love collection. It says Best Days. It's got this pretty green leaf because I figured this would either go with the Teresa Collins Beautiful Life binder or, I mean, it could go in any like black binder too. Um, to be quite honest, it doesn't really matter. But I wanted to have like kind of a green theme. So I got the page finder. I got the notepad. Um, it's called Woodland Walk. And then I also got the dividers, which I've never had before. Um, I just want to open the dividers to see what they look like. I've never had their dividers, but they're also like pockets. And I really liked the idea of having pockets in my planner whether I put them at the back or whether I put them like behind as a decorative piece. I really like that thought. So these are really, really pretty. Um, I'm not really huge in love with the planner love binders. The only one I have is like that gingham kind of checkered one, not checkered, but more gingham. Um, I have that one and uh, I just don't like the overall design. I don't really love the polka dot insides of those binders, but some of them are pretty on the outside. I just, um, I just wanted to pick those pieces up because I thought they were really cute and that they would go with a spring themed binder. It's the very last item I got is another binder like I was saying and I wanted to check this out because I'm super excited. It is the Canyon binder. So this is a leather binder brand new just released not that long ago. They have three different colors. They have that bright emerald green. They also had was it the kind of like a tan color like Canyon or something. A canyon colored canyon binder and then they had this one um, and this was I think it was called periwinkle and for me periwinkle is like kind of like that blue um, lavender color and I love this color so much so it's real leather it does not smell like real leather it's not that heavy either you think that it would be heavy for being real leather probably about the same as my aspen binder it is 1.5 inch which I love and this is something I just noticed the clasp is actually this like bur not burnished color but it's not silver it's like a darker color um, the strap is quite thick it's very very durable I can it's not flimsy at all and um, it's a snap binder the interior rings are silver and as you can see, it's kind of like the basic uh, Franklin Covey design. So you have uh, very similar to the Reese binder, actually. You've got the pockets here, the card pockets. You've got the two secretarial pockets and then the pocket at the back. So very simple. Um, and I think this might be my January binder because it's, you know, it's January, it's cold. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking this binder. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I do have them listed. Uh, as I said, I'm an affiliate 
and uh, I do have them linked down below. So yeah, most of these products I think are linked down below except for like the smaller stuff and I'm just trying to think, oh yeah, this is the detail I wanted to mention. So this one does not have the elastic for the pen loops, which I thought weird because most of the Franklin Covey binders do. It's literally just a leather strap. And the stitching on this binder is actually this navy blue color, which is weird. Um, when I looked at it in the dark, I thought it was the same color, but it's not. It's this dark navy blue. And I am going to pull out my Olivia binder that is the that really dark, beautiful, bright blue. I want to show you the, the color comparison. So this is really the only binder I have to compare that is blue. Um, I don't know what the Sailor Blue Anna would compare to with these. So this is the Periwinkle Canyon binder, and this is the, um, I think it's called the Sky Blue Olivia binder. Can you tell the difference there between the colors? This one is more of a true blue and this one definitely has lavender tones. And uh, I like both of them for different reasons. Obviously this is simulated leather, very smooth to the touch. This one is real leather. And it does have that kind of like, um, you know, leather green that you can feel. So um, I really like that though. I didn't realize it was not silver, but I like that. <laughs> I kind of wish they'd done rings that were that kind of burnished color too. That would have been really pretty. So I did not purchase another storage binder because I'll be putting these in where my flora inserts were. Flora will be done as of the end of this year. And I'm going to put all of these into that storage binder because those ones I just, once I'm done with a pack of inserts, instead of putting them, keep them in the binder, I wrap them up with an elastic and put them in a container in my basement. So that's all I do there. So what they do is they put the months first here. And then when I put them in my binder, I put in the months and then I put in the days. So I'll kind of flip through the different patterns here. So this is for January. So the first quarter is all the same. So January, February, March, they're all the same as this pretty tulip pattern. And then once we hit April, okay. You get into these. I'm not sure what flower this is. Then we get into the third quarter. And I think it's roses, maybe. Or is it carnations? I can't tell there either. And then the last quarter are these white flowers again. And that's it. So uh, very floral. So if you do like floral, blooms inserts are great. The one thing that I don't love about the blooms inserts is that I get up at five every day. Well, I try to. While I've been pregnant, it hasn't really happened, but um, they start at eight and they end at eight, whereas my day is like five to 11. So to me, this is good for appointments, I guess, throughout the day. That's kind of what they mean it for. But I like to put, like when I know things are happening, I like to put it on my schedule. So for me, this isn't working. And that's kind of why I got the seven habits because it goes, the time is extended a little bit longer. Um, I think the best one is the leadership one. Um, it starts really early and ends late. There's something that I keep coming back to the blooms. I do enjoy the blooms inserts. They're very feminine and they do go with those beautiful, delicate pink binders. So um, that is it for that quick little flip through. I will put those into my binder probably. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick haul. Um, let me know what you think. What products have you decided to pick up for the new year? And what's your favorite binder so far? Um, they Franklin Covey has released a lot of binders in recent months. And uh, some of them are really awesome. And some of them I'm like, well, you know, that's okay. But really looking forward to those vintage auroras. I think they'll be coming next year. So um, we will share those with you when they come too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you click on the bell button to receive notifications and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you guys next time. Bye friends.